Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another day of Vlogtober. If you're new here, I'm Shawan. And in today's video, I'm taking you along with me for a work with me day. It is about uh, 8.17 Tuesday morning. I'm on my way into the studio. And I thought that today, yeah, I would bring you along with me. I have a few consultation calls happening today. Uh, one by phone, one by video. I also am working on some content um, finishing up that I created for my client's photo shoot that I took you behind the scenes on last week. So I did something special for her. So I'm going to work on that today. And yeah, it is going to be a great day. It is actually raining outside today. We've had a lot of rain lately, which is very much so welcome. We had a very dry summer, but I am looking forward to bringing you along with me today if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and let's get to the studio I've got my tea. I don't think I shared with you guys that I have not been drinking coffee. It's been almost a month that I haven't had coffee. And I will tell you kind of like what happened. I started doing IF, not um, intermittent fasting, not completely wholly doing it, but I was trying to wait to have coffee until later in the day, right? So I was waiting to have a coffee until maybe 12 or one o'clock um, in the afternoon. And I was experiencing the worst brain fog ever, like really bad. Um, so I happened to just yeah, I got introduced to this tea for number one. <laughs> and um, for the last month, I have been drinking tea. I cannot believe it. And I have um, experienced clearing of the brain fog. I had one of my friends to actually tell me that it would get better um, after, you know, a while of weaning myself off coffee. And I've done it before. But that was a long time ago that I did that. Um, stopped drinking coffee. But the last month has been really good. Um, I definitely feel that I have more clarity. The brain fog is gone. Um, I have more energy. I'm not relying on the caffeine. I honestly love drinking coffee just for the, the taste and the feel and the warmness of it. I uh, loved hazelnut cream for a long time and then a little bit of French vanilla. But so I just really liked it for 
um, the comfort and the warmness component. But then, of course, as I was trying to get off of it, I did see that I had become a little bit, you know, dependent on that coffee for caffeine. So, yeah, I have been drinking tea and I'm hoping to continue on this path of having tea only. So let me know too, do you guys drink coffee? Do you drink tea? Let me know in the comments. So I am getting ready to dive into my day. I wrote down like three primary things that I need to work on. Oh my goodness, I think I've had social media on my list probably all this month because I have been focusing on Vlogtober and getting videos out. My focus this month was on my YouTube growth. And Vlogtober was a great opportunity um, to do that. It's also, I've learned so many things um, doing this, during this process of uploading a video daily. So far, I've only missed two days, but I hope to either extend it or add two um, videos in before the month wraps up. But man, I've learned so much during this process. Um, and just being able to uh, get on camera more, uh, to share more, it's really uh, pushed me creativity, creatively wise. And yeah, it's, I've learned a lot from this. I'm actually going to like sit down and focus and, and write down some of the things that I've learned. And I'll probably do a video at the end of uh, this whole Vlogtober month just to, you know, give some tips and feedback and my uh, whole process and like things that I've discovered. I was actually thinking about that yesterday. Uh, when I've sat down before to either do batch videos uh, before Vlogtober, I was uh, uploading a video once a week. So before then, it would take me a while to get through a video, but now just because I'm doing it, you know, every day, that repetition, right? Um, and utilizing that muscle, if you will, almost every day, it's really helped me to, yeah, just be able to hit record and just talk to you guys. So yeah, I've learned so much during this process and I'm gonna share more about that. As I mentioned um, at the end of this, like after I go through the entire thing, and maybe I'll share some tips too. I'm sure I will <laughs> because that's just who I am. Share some tips um, that I learned to help me out in terms of, okay, I'm uploading a video every day. What am I going to share? What am I going to talk about? You know, all of that good stuff. So stay tuned for that. I will be sharing uh, more about this whole journey. And today on my list social media, I was, yeah, I got off track talking about uh, Blocktober, but yeah, because my focus has been on Blocktober, I've kind of just sporadically posted uh, on Facebook and Instagram. So this morning, I'm not going to block off a ton of time because as I mentioned, I do have two um, consults today. I'm actually going over to my uh going over to my calendar to take a quick look at my calendar for today as i'm getting distracted oh my goodness so you guys get distracted that's why i have several gmail accounts one that i check emails and one that i work from all right, let me get to my calendar. Why am I, I'm just completely distracted here. The sun's coming out, hello sunshine. Let's see, okay, so I do have a little more time this morning. So my first um, consult call is at 11.30 and that one's on video on Zoom. And then I have another one, um, almost the first one, yeah, not qu quite immediately after, but after that one, that one's at 12.30. So I am going to, I written down that I was gonna block off just an hour to work on social media because I have other pressing things that I need to do. I have some client work that I need to um, work on. Um, I have a client um, that I mentioned too that I did some extra content for. So I'm gonna work on that uh, this morning, maybe before 
my first call. And then I'm also onboarding a new client into um, a brand new um, program that I have. So I'm excited about that. So those are my top three things that I have for today. And do you hear the birds chirping? Oh, I love that sound. <laughs> but I'm gonna get to work. I'm gonna dive in, get on this social media, get some posts ready to go. I did last week when I was, you know, doing some housekeeping in Asana and my Google Drive, like getting things um, copied from one to another. I did pre-write um, quite a few posts. So I'm going to do the same thing this morning, write some um, captions. I, I had already like pre-recorded a lot of content for Instagram Reels last month before. And this was before I even knew I was going to do Vlogtober. So I have a lot of content that I have like waiting for me to um, write my captions and put it all together to post and share. So I'm going to be working on that because it is a lot and I want it to still be relevant as well. So yeah, I am going to get into my day. I'm excited to bring you guys along with me and yeah, let's, let's dive in. Let's dive in. I am feeling so good. I got five captions written. It is now 1040 and one of them, I know that I can break it down into like three different posts. So I am excited about that. I am now going to, I don't have a lot of time before I need to prepare for my call, my first call. So what I'm gonna do is just go through, I mentioned that I recorded some content for reels uh, last month. So I'm gonna go back through my hard drive and look at the content that I have and start like bringing some of it into my uh, video editing software. And for these, um, for this content, I actually recorded it on my Sony ZV-1, which I'm actually using right now um, for this video. Um, so I have them have them on an SD card, so I've uploaded them to a hard drive, and I just need to go back and look through them. And I said all of that to say because if I have content on my phone that I'm recording, I'll typically, if it's a reel, I'll typically uh, use Video Leap, which is a video editing software tool or app. I'll use that on my phone for um, anything that I've recorded, you know, with my camera's phone, with my phone's video camera. Oh my goodness. Okay. That was a lot to say. But if I use my phone to record, then I typically will just take that content or those video clips and put them into Video Leap, which is on my phone which I just actually turned on. I was gonna show you guys. Just gonna put it up to the screen. But this is, not that you can see much, but this is the Video Leap uh, interface once you get inside the app. So I'm not using Video Leap for these uh, reels because I use my Sony. So I am going to uh, look at these, start putting them inside of ScreenFlow, which is an app that I use on my desktop. I do believe that ScreenFlow is only for Mac users. So sorry for anyone who uses uh, a different uh, brand, but I use ScreenFlow uh, for anything that I record with the Sony camera. So yeah, I'm going to, like I said, I don't have a lot of time, but I'm gonna bring these clips over into ScreenFlow and look back through them. They, it was a while that I created them and I think I made about five or six reels or I did enough content to make that many and I only posted one video. So I'm gonna go back through here and just refresh. I know the content that I wrote uh, is specifically for um, what I did was like wardrobe styling for branding 
photo shoots to give clients ideas and to also, you know, share on Instagram. I'll probably also share these on my Facebook page too, eventually. But yeah, the content was around wardrobe styling because that's a huge part of a branding photo session here at the studio. I actually, and you've seen me before and behind the scenes or vlog days where I'll have a consultation, a wardrobe consultation specifically with the client to get them all ready for their photo shoot. So these videos were to provide some inspiration, some education around that process, what it looks like or um, ideas to prep you for that. So follow me on Instagram for those reels that will be coming up soon, but I'm going to stop chatting and get into ScreenFlow, get these clips in because I only have about 15 minutes before I need to um, prep for my 11:30 call. All right, guys, let me get into ScreenFlow. I just wrapped up that first consultation call. Always have so many good nuggets that come up um, from consults, talking with other business owners, um, you know, learning more about what challenges they have, you know, what's getting in their way to the outcome that they desire. And I love just like learning more about um, clients and where they are. And I will say one of the things that came up in this consult call and something that I've shared in a previous uh, in a previous video was about what to do with your time when it's an off season for you. Right. So as a wedding photographer, the off season for me was like maybe uh, late December through 
1st of April. So during that time, I would find ways to either, you know, prepare for the season ahead, uh, work on marketing, work on client experience. There were different things that I would work on. And this client um, that I spoke to uh, today, she just wrapped up her first year in business. And one of the things that she has um, uncovered are her slow season, right? And that's very important and something that you wanna be aware of to know that, okay, in my slow season, these are the things that I can be doing to ramp up and prepare for you know when I do hit those busier times. So I just thought that was so good and definitely um, confirming or affirming of um, you know what I've shared and in terms of making the best use of time when you're in those off seasons. Like it's not a time to just take your foot off the gas and just chillax and not do anything. Um, there's certainly time, you know, to do that, to relax because yeah, I'm not saying hustle all the time. No way. We want to make sure that we're building in that time for rest and that time to recharge. But I just love that that came up in our consult call today. And I hope that that was helpful for you as well. Perhaps I will leave a link to that video where I shared a little bit more. I think I gave some ideas too of things that you could do when you do have an off or your slower season. All right, I am going to get prepared for my next call, which is in seven minutes. <laughs> I wrapped up both of my calls for today. My second call, we ended up getting on Zoom too, which was great. Um, it's always good when you can meet a client in person. And yeah, it was great to um, be able to take that call that way too. And let's see, calls are all done. Um, and I'm gonna eat my lunch really quickly. I may have to like, get some extra soup. This may not be enough. I have some tomato soup here too. I also, oh, I don't know if I can tell you guys that, but I will, I'll tell you. I do have a Bake With Me video coming up and I have a little goodie in here <laughs> that I brought with me today that, yeah, you'll be seeing that video come up soon, but I have me a little goodie today with my lunch. So I thought I'd just give you a quick behind the scenes look into the video editing tool that I use um, for some of my reels, in particular for this set because I use my Sony camera. So I am currently inside of ScreenFlow, which is an app. Um, like I mentioned before, I believe it, it's only available for Mac users. But here I am inside of ScreenFlow. And let me know in the comments below if you'd like a more detailed um, maybe tutorial and more in-depth walkthrough of um, my steps, like one, you know, like each individual step. But so far what I've done is I've imported all of my clips here that um, I recorded in a batch for making up some content or using for content for reels in particularly. So once I have my clips uploaded, I simply just um, click on a real a clip that I'd like to use and I'll drag it down here to my timeline. And then because I did use uh, the video camera in uh, vertical or portrait mode, I just simply have to come in here inside of ScreenFlow and just uh, put the clip, drag my cursor here to the clip and it's also highlighted. And then I just fit it to the um, size of the, um, the dimensions that I'm using. Specifically for this one, it's going to be a reel. So I think it's uh, 1080 by something else. <laughs> Don't quote me on that, but it's in a, uh, a portrait size or vertical size for uploading to Instagram. If I were, I use the same app for editing my YouTube videos. And of course the, the size dimension is different. So it would look quite different from what you're seeing now. 
But basically, I just drag and drop that um, clip onto my timeline. I'll go in here and choose where I want it to start. This shirt gave me all kinds of trouble because <laughs> it is a crop and I wanted to wear um, something underneath because I wasn't prepared uh, to uh, wear it without. <laughs> But um, I'll just go in here. I'd already gone through a little bit. This is going to be a wardrobe uh, inspiration reel. So I picked up this cute t-shirt. I'll have to share the boutique below, but I've had it for maybe a year and I'm just now getting around to using it. I knew specifically how I wanted to use it. And yeah, so. I have this nothing to wear a tee and I'm just going to highlight this clip and I'm going to trim it to where I need it to be, which I did before. I'm going to let it play for a sec. All right. What am I going to wear? Let's let that run through. All right. So I'm going to trim it here. As you know, reels are not very long in length. All right. So. I'm going to back this up a bit to maybe right about there. All right. I'm going to trim it and then I'm just going to delete the part that I'm not going to use. I'm also going to delete this very first one. So I'll just keep going through that process of I'm looking through each clip until I have all of them selected that I want for this particular um, reels. And yeah, I'm just going to keep going. And once I'm all done, let me maybe pull down another one, another clip, just to kind of give you an idea, a quick idea of what um, would happen if I'm all ready for it to go. So I'm just going to once again position this. I'm going to drag it up here and just expand it to fit that window. And I know I remember what I did in this clip. I'm actually hoping to yeah, put two clips side by side. I'd never done that before, but I hope I can figure out how to do that. That was my idea. <laughs> uh, what I'm thinking is that, uh, no, I can't do that. I'll figure it out though, how I'm going to do this. I think that's maybe the way that I can do it. I hope so. But just stay tuned, follow me over on Instagram and you'll get to see exactly how these clips turned out or how the video turned out. And let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see a more in-depth tutorial of ScreenFlow, I'd be more than happy to show you how I use it either for YouTube video uploads or editing or for um, IG Reel, which I'm doing right now. I'm gonna go ahead and close this vlog out for today. I'm gonna to head home early because I also want to make sure that I edit and get this out to you for Vlogtober today. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me. I know we kind of hung out in the studio for most of the day, but I hope you found some inspiration or value in today's video. I appreciate you watching. If you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.